everybody who's using petroleum is looking for cleaner solutions. And the great thing about soybean oil and vegetable oil in general is it looks a lot like petroleum chemically. Hello and welcome to this edition of the State of Soy. I'm Aaron Putzi and I'm visiting with Matt Herman. Matt serves as Senior Director of Renewable Products Marketing here at Iowa Soybean Association. Matt, farmers have been hearing a lot about this renewable diesel, renewable fuels. Give us a quick status update on the industry. Yeah, it's a really growing and booming industry right now. And we've seen how this industry has grown over the last 15 years. But given that the urgency among policymakers and businesses to reduce carbon, this has really juiced up this market and demand for these products. And while everybody's really focused and talking about these long-term solutions, electric, hydrogen, whatever it may be, the fact of the matter is the solutions that are available today to these groups that have these goals are bio-based fuels like renewable diesel, like biodiesel. Now, biodiesel has been talked about for, it is, it's been a product that farmers are familiar with more than 20 years right. in that space. What's the difference between biodiesel and renewable diesel? Well, I think the important thing to start with is that today we're using the same raw materials. So if I'm a soybean farmer, the important thing that you should know is that whether it's biodiesel or renewable diesel, they want that vegetable oil and that's what's gonna get converted to fuel. Ultimately, at the end of the day, there's some physical properties and some handling properties that are different. You know, renewable diesel can perform in a little bit colder temperatures. So if you're you know, running a school bus in Northern Canada and the Yukon in the midwinter, renewable diesel may be your product. But we can also make other things out of that plant like sustainable aviation fuel. So many companies, many brands have been focused on lowering their carbon scores, not only in over the road and in the manufacturing, but also now in the airline space as well. Right. To date, the carbon score of, of soybeans has kind of been a little bit of a challenge for us. Explain that and, and how do we get past that? Right, so it's important to know that these markets used to be about just getting volume, getting more fuel into the system, and now it's getting more volume and making that volume of fuel ever cleaner. So what that means is that from the farmer all the way through that value chain of soybean crushing and biofuel production, we have to be really conscientious about what is our current environmental footprint and what can we do to reduce that. And so that's everything from working with our farmers to implement conservation practices, to figuring out more efficient ways to convert this to fuel and including renewable energy. And that's what's gonna allow us to continue to have market access in the future. And last question, something that holds a lot of promise and potential too for farmers is not just on the renewable diesel side, but also incorporating more of that oil, that product in other applications as, as well, explain. Right, so most farmers, most individuals, right, are familiar with the petroleum industry when they go to the gas pump and fill up. But beyond that, we interact with petroleum products in every part of our life. You know, if you've ever lubed up a chainsaw, for example, that's likely a petroleum-based product. So all of those other companies today, it's not just the oil refiners and it's not just the automotive sector. Everybody who's using petroleum is looking for cleaner solutions. And the great thing about soybean oil and vegetable oil in general is it looks a lot like petroleum chemically, which makes it very easy for us to find these applications like chainsaw lube, where we can take a currently fossil product and make it renewable. Marketing renewable products across a host of applications and places and spaces again holds enormous promise and opportunity for soybean farmers and is one more example of how Iowa Soybean Association is driven to deliver. Reporting for this edition of the State of Soy, I'm Aaron Putzi. Progress is a human invention. We look at our world and we imagine how to make it better. That's the power of human ingenuity. We can redefine what's possible. At Bayer, we're shaping the future of agriculture. Like farms where all life grows together. It's not impossible, it's progress.